How's it going everybody? In this video, we're going to go ahead and deploy a virtual machine from vCenter server. We've done it before through the ESXi host, but we're going to go ahead and do it this time through vCenter to see what the, the, how the operation is different. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And once I am logged in, we'll be able to take a look at the connectivity and how it all comes into play. All right, so we're now logged in which is what we want to see. And I'm going to go over here to storage and I'm going to look at the storage area network, look in the files and make sure that I can see the Linux Ubuntu image there. So what I'm going to be continuing to do is going through and I'm going to deploy a couple more Linux VMs because they're pretty lightweight. So what I'm going to go do is I am going to, I want to think, I don't know if we're going to be able to look at this guy and see exactly how much storage space is being taken up. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it from here. But I'm going to go ahead and from, we can either do this from the hosting clusters. So it's uh, right here. We can either do it from hosting clusters or we can do it from the VMs and templates tab. Either one will work. So as you can see, what we've got rolled out here is the VMs. If I look at compute here and I look at the VMs it'll tell me what VM is where so virtual machines I've got VM1 dash Linux and VM2 dash Windows and if I look at where they're physically staged I can see the VM2 is on host 1 VM uh, VM1 is on host 3 so I'm going to deploy a new VM now I can do this one of a couple different ways I can right click here and go new virtual machine right and then it's going to make me determine what compute node to choose to put this VM on. Or if I click on the compute node itself and I right click here and go new virtual machine right up here, I'm going to go and click on that because then I don't have to choose the compute resource. It's already been, been done. And there's a whole bunch of different options here. So let's create a new virtual machine, deploy from template, clone an existing virtual machine, clone virtual machine to template, clone template to template, convert template to virtual machine. We're going to talk about each one of these as we move forward and how we will deploy all that. We And I'm going to first go through and take and create a new virtual machine. And this will be a template that we are going to later deploy. So I'm going to create it, get everything squared away on it. And then once we are good to go, I'm then going to transition over to converting it to a template so we can deploy from a template and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go click on next and it's going to say, well, what is this? I'm going to go ahead and call this, this will be VM3 dash Linux. Click on and we're going to be putting it in the compute in the the, the folder is, well, the, the data center. We're going to put it in the compute data center. We're going to choose a compute resource. We already selected vert host 2 out of the gate. So I'm going to click on next. Where do you want to store the hard drive? We're going to store it on SAN. We could store it locally on the hard drive, but we don't want to do that right now. I'm going to click on, actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and put it on here because then we can take a look at doing a storage vMotion at a later point in time. I'm going to click on next and ESXi 6.7 or later for the virtual hardware. And then it's going to ask us what the guest OS is. I'm going to come down here and type in Linux. From the drop down, we are going to, we have Amazon Linux if we want to deploy in AWS. But if we want to come down here, we have Ubuntu down here towards the bottom. Uh, let's see, does it show up? It doesn't show it the way that I want it to. Not that big of a deal. I'm just going to be able to, oh, here it is right there. I, I blew right past it. So Ubuntu Linux 64-bit, click Next. And then what are the resources that you want to hand to it? So we're going to go ahead and give it these minimum resources, which is what we want to have. Now, one of the things we have to do underneath this new DVD CD drive from here, we have to come down here to Data Store ISO file. And then in the Data Store ISO file is where we're going to have to click on SAN. And we're going to choose, you guessed it, the Ubuntu 16.04 desktop image. Click on OK. And I'm going to click on Connect so that it connects there. Remember that our network is data. 
So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And we're going to go ahead and let that do its thing. There it goes and click on finish. So now what it's going to do is going to go create a new virtual machine, VM3 Linux. And give that a second to refresh. And then we're going to click on it. And we're going to click on the start button right there. The start button is going to get turned on. And we're going to go ahead and power it on. And I'm going to say launch web console. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK because we don't have the, the virtual machine remote console set up here. And we get this Firefox present, prevented this site from opening a pop-up window. Go to options and say, oh, allow pop-ups from VCSA1. That's going to allow it to happen. And then it's going to open up a new tab for VM3 Linux. So it should begin its install process. We'll be able to navigate through this. It's a little bit of a cleaner look and feel. So we're going to go ahead and just let it go through its process. And this is an interactive website at the moment. So we'll be able to interact with the VM and stuff like that. So I'm going to pause until this guy is ready to interact a little bit more. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click inside of here. We're going to click on Install Ubuntu, just like that. And give it a couple seconds to move to its next thing. I'm not going to check third install third-party software. We don't have internet access. I'm going to go ahead and just click on Continue. And hopefully this will give us a little bit of a better experience with the install process. So this computer currently has no detected OS. What would you like to do? We're going to go ahead and erase and install Ubuntu. Click on Install Now. And then we're going to go ahead and allow it to do whatever partition changes it needs to make. Very, very similar steps. This is the identical steps that you would go through with the ESXi deployment method. Now, if I click inside of here and I click on this guy, you know, it should give me Indianapolis, Menominee, that's Wisconsin, Chicago. So you have to be a little specific. So there we go, Chicago. I'm going to click on Continue. And give that a couple seconds to do its thing. And we'll be able to move then. And I was hoping that this would change based off the keyboard layout. So we're going to click inside of here and we're going to have to tab through. So tab to get to where we got to go and then spacebar when we get there. So we had to tab through, detect keyboard layout, then to cancel, then to OK. Give that a few more seconds to do its thing. And then we're going to go ahead and just call this LVM1 for Linux Virtual Machine 1. Come down here and set the password. Might be running this a little to touch slow. i do that again. Make sure we delete everything. It's, it's running slowly because it's in a virtual environment. That's why. I'll go ahead and click on login automatically. And then I'm going to tab down, tab down. And now this guy is being highlighted. I'm going to tab one more time to go to OK. Press the space bar to send it. And now it's going to go ahead and begin doing its installation. So we're going to pretty much just go into the hurry up and wait process until this guy is fully installed and then I'll be able to bring you guys back in to finish up do the um, do the VMware tools installation and go from there. All right well our installation of Ubuntu went pretty well as you can see. I'm going to click inside of here and click on restart now and then I'm going to come over here to the connection here I'm going to go to actions and then edit settings and I'm going to uncheck the checkbox for the CD DVD drive and click on OK just so we can disconnect it and then I'm going to come back over here to the VM and wait for it to reboot so I'm going to pause until that's done and then we're going to go ahead and install VMware tools again alright so because uh, we've already done the uh, installation medium removal, I'm going to go ahead and press the enter key because now it, you know, I'm trying to trigger it to go ahead and reboot 
and it triggered that way. So sometimes you might have to do that and you know you might have already done everything correctly and the operating system just bugs out for a moment. So since we already gave it a password and a username, it's going to take a few minutes for it to go ahead and log in. I'm going to pause again until it's there and then what we're going to go do is install VMware tools. We'll get install we'll get VMware tools installed and then we will reboot and get it squared away. And then I'm going to convert this VM into a template so we can redeploy it over and over and over again so we can have multiple VMs deployed and that will give us a little bit of scale as we move forward into some of the other places because I've tested this out before with Windows VMs and Windows VMs are well in a virtual environment they're really really heavy where a Linux VM is much much lighter in its size and implementation so we'll go with that Alright, so here we are. I'm going to go back to vSphere, and fortunately for me, I get this really useful VMware Tools is not installed. Thank you. But you'll notice if I click over here, nothing. So the simple way to fix that is refresh the screen, and voila. I'm going to go ahead and click on Install VMware Tools, mount it, and then we're going to come over here to the VM and there we are so we know it's working what I get to go do now is I get to right click here and I get to say copy to and I'm going to now we're in here I'm gonna go ahead and right click select this guy there it goes right here that's I'm gonna whoop, that's not where I wanted to go let me come back over here to this guy. And we're going to... Why is that not behaving? Okay, let's close this guy out. Okay, so we're going to right click and extract to we could do copy to as well oh see I see what happened select destination so that was my fault I click on here and we need to and so we've selected the desktop we're gonna click on select down here at the bottom that was my fault so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this guy it's going to head and moving the file there come up here to the top and close that out and there it is so it's on the desktop now I'm gonna right click here and I'm going to extract here so it's gonna go ahead and pull out the the contents of the drive right here below it and then from there what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go through the process of connecting to the terminal and getting all that stuff squared away so that'll take just a moment or two to do its job. And there we are. Cool. So now we get to go right click here and open terminal. And I'm going to do a CD to a change directory to a desktop. Desktop. forward slash VMware tools why is that not triggering CD there we go and then uh, VMware tools underneath here we're gonna do an LS and then we're gonna do a uh, dot forward slash and then VMware and we're going to go ahead and we have to do a dot backslash. Okay, maybe that's there's a forget the the switch, but I know we needed to run the Perl file. Okay, so let me let me exit out of here. And let me right click here and go back to open terminal. And then we're going to go to 
sudo sud and then dash and then we're going to go ahead and enter the password there we go and then we're going to do a cd desktop forward slash desktop why is that not That's a little weird. One second here while I go figure. There's a I'm missing one little thing. All right, so the error that I made was CD desktop and then VMware tools underneath here. And then I forgot to run the sudo command dot forward slash VMware tools dot install dot profile. And then we have to, we've already provided our password. Do you want to still proceed with the installation? Yes. And Yep, that's fine. And then just we're going to enter key all the way through this. I'm not going to bore you with the reinstallation process. I will pause until this guy is done. All right, so our installation is now complete. I'm going to click on type in exit to exit out of there. So now we are squared away with VMware tools. I am going to we click up here and we do a refresh. Now VMware tools is installed. If we click on the the monitor or no sorry it would be so go back to summary and then click down here sometimes it'll show you what the uh and at the moment it's not showing me what it is that i want to see that's okay though so if we click on v oh so yeah right here it says vmware tools running and we're in good shape there so i'm going to go ahead and actually reboot the vm and in the next video, we're going to start talking about how you can do other things like create a template and do clones and all that type of good stuff. So thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me in this video. And until next time, guys, take it easy.